Okay. All right, my name is uh, Benjamin Connect, and um, for my capstone project, um, I wrote a synthesizer in Java. Um, the main purpose of this project was to um, create an application that you can um, take three different um, oscillators, combine the waveforms in various ways to produce your, uh, an output sound that you can then save the samples of and create a MIDI instrument out of. Um, I've always been fascinated with um, MIDI instruments and um, the applications of basic waveforms. Um, the first thing you'll notice is um, these two visualizer, two visualizers. Um, this one right here is the combined waveforms, and this is the individual. So as you see, if I were to change the volume of this one, it goes down. If I were to change the volume of this one, it goes down. Now you have your basic sine waves. You have your square waves. Your saw waves and your triangle waves. Now you can randomize various parts of it. So has changed and the wave has changed. I can get rid of randomizing the wave and just randomize the tuning. Now over here is a little pitch legend to help um, like create uh, offset instruments, for example. If I wanted to have, um, for instance, one of them offset by a half step, all I need to do is change this tuning to 0 0.083. And you can tell it works because a half step up, Now, all the notes are played on the keyboard, um, so you have your lowest note being B2, which you can't hear with sine waves because they don't have any harmonics. Um, the sawtooth wave has the most harmonics. As you can hear, that really, really low note. So you can just randomize it however you want. And then all you need to do once you're done with your instrument is you just save the lot samples. And for example, let's just make a basic square wave. Save that. And you will notice in this directory here named samples, all you need to do is go over here and you will have every single piano note starting from the lowest, which is C, and then the highest, which is E100, which is, I believe, C, yeah, C set, or I think it's this key, I don't remember which one that one is. And then all you need to do to create your instrument is to go into an external editor, for example, this one right here. And then all you need to do is go to, let's see if I can remember where it is. Where is this? This top. Yes, there. Samples, and then just select all of them. And you will notice you will see every single one of the samples here as they increase in frequency. And then all you need to do is select them all. And as you noticed here, it's already mapped them to the correct note because of the way I have named the files. And then you just 
at an instrument. And then you make sure it works. And then you make a preset. We're going to name this demo. And say, for example, you wanted to use that instrument for a MIDI arrangement. All you need to do is change the sound point file in this case, and then go all the way to downloads. <laughs> And then get rid of the percussion. And then you now have squares all the instruments. We can do that with all of the different waveforms just to show it. So here's here's some here's a basic saw wave. Save those samples. Go back to your sound font editor or whatever program. And then Add all of your samples. Create a new instrument and create a preset. Make sure it's working. And then go back into the MIDI, change the preset. I gotta reload. And get this to work. <laughs> Here we go. Is it going to work? Oh, maybe I didn't save it here. Yeah, that's what's wrong. Here we go. Change that to the saw. And then you can create various wacky sounding instruments. For example, if you offset um, one of them just slightly, this um, phase offset, which can really um, make your instrument sound really interesting. Um, if you use a, so a sine wave, they will cancel each other out and the audio will go in and out. So let's make a solve. Oops. Save that. Go into our editor. Create the instrument. Make sure it's working. And then create your preset. Save that. There we go. Oh, it sounds more like a um uh like a like a real synth instead of just a normal saw wave. Go ahead and do triangle. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I have added a way to change the um, duration of the, of the samples because in this example, if you hear right here, um, notice how it's um, cutting off and repeat and starting over. the uh, The reason why this is happening is um, if we go down here. Um, you can see um, how it's slowly and slowly getting less and less before it eventually cancels out, just like a um, sine wave. But the issue here is um, yeah, right here is where it cancels out. Um, when the dur sample duration is not long enough, it doesn't have enough time to repeat. So that's why, like here, it will it will it will cut off here, 
instead of being a proper loop. And the way you fix this is by changing the duration of the output, saving those, and do I need to delete this? Oh, I gotta use delete this first. I gotta delete this first. There we go. There we go. Now all we need to do is select them all and import them once more. And you will see here, now we have more than we need. So you can change it until you get at least one cycle. And then in this editor, you can actually, um, right here, you can auto loop it. So it will detect when it actually, um, see like right here, this lines up to right here. So now it's actually one loop. Like a proper loop. So if you listen to it right here, in and out without use. Although now I haven't actually set a loop, I don't think. Let's see here. That might help. Back in here, change the preset. Although with this MIDI, it's very, very um, staccato notes, so it's not going. You aren't going to be able to hear the um, the loop. All right, and you can also change the visualizer. So you can right, currently, right now, you're seeing uh, three cycles. So one, two, three. You can change it to as many as you want to actually see how it changes over time. So we go to like ten, and we were to turn this one off, change the tuning, and then turn it back on, and you'll notice. Right here, this is about where the loop currently is for this one. You can see how they all change, and you can even modify these values while you're playing. Just make another sample real quick. Just to um, show the, um, like as small as the offset can be, which is 0 0.001. And now that we've changed the duration, we can save that. Go into our editor. Right over here. We named it Science Name. See here, is this going to work? Let me change the. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Change that and then auto loop it. You look all the way. Where is it? Sine, sine, triangle. So here you can see how the loop is very long. And if we were to auto loop it, it should. There it is. Auto loop. now it has successfully looped the waveform. 
just like that. Oh, me. For the instrument. There it is. Yo, know, with a sine wave, you don't have much much uh, harmonics at all, so these lower notes are basically not audible at all. Then you can hear going in and out, which is important. So that is basically the project. Um, you can change all of these variables how you want to. You can create MIDI instruments and they function. Um, so it basically, uh, whatever you want to create with this program, you can create it. Because of this randomize, you can just cycle through it until you find something that you like, um, just as long as you want to. And that is um, the project. I'm planning to um, work with the music department to um, hopefully ship this out to them and use it as a teaching tool because um, they seemed pretty ecstatic about it. <laughs> I've, I've received good feedback from them. This tuning legend right here was their idea. All right. That's it.